Hello and welcome to A to Z Art Corner. I've created this channel to bring up some ideas for you to do simple art projects at home. In these series, you're going to work with watercolor. And in this video, I'm making three very simple landscapes with watercolor. I hope you find it all useful and can create beautiful works of your own. What you would need for this project? A watercolor paper of size A4. You'd need masking tape to fix your paper on the board or any surface that you're working on. You'd need watercolors. In this video I'm using only three colors of blue, violet and black just to make it easier for you to start with. You can use a size 8 or 10 round brush for almost the whole project today, but for some small details you might like to use a smaller one. Always remember to keep some paper tissues at hand while you are painting with watercolor. Now let's begin today's tutorial. I'm taping my paper around all the edges to my board and then I divide my paper into three equal sections using my masking tape. I'm going to dampen my first section of the paper by dipping my brush in water and sweeping it across the paper. Now let's grab some dark blue and lighten it with some water. Playing around with my brush, putting some paint on the surface of the paper here and there. This can create a sky-like effect after it all dries. For the second one, I dampen the paper first and this time I'm gonna grab some paint right out of the pan without further lightening it. I start by gentle random brush strokes and adding some blue to the paper. Make sure to always remove the excess water around the edges of your work to avoid backgrounds. I'll elaborate more in detail about this unwanted effect later on in my future videos. But for now, try to follow my steps so that you can avoid errors in your work. I'll let this dry. And let's now move on to the third part. Here I'd like to only apply the paint to the dry paper. I dip my brush into the water and grab some paint right out of the pan. And start moving my brush to the left and right on the surface of the paper. I'm trying to create rough lines on the paper which can resemble the sunlight reflection in the water. As you can see, the surface of the paper is still shiny. We'd need to wait for the paper to dry completely before moving on to the next step. One good trick to expedite this process would be to use a hair dryer. Now that the paper is dry, we can move on with our work by adding some details and layers if need be. I'll use some black color here for the sake of contrast. Using a narrow tip brush, I grab some black. Now I'm drawing some lines to create electric poles. Connecting the wires and adding up a bunch of birds flying in the sky. You want to make sure that the birds are different in shape and size. This can make your work look more pleasant for your audience. For the second scene, I'm going to use some violet paint and create mountains in two different layers. The first layer would go on the left. I'll make sure it's dry before adding up the next layer.
first creating the edges and then I grab some water and start to blend. I'm correcting some parts and done. For the third scene, I'm creating a horizon line using a mix of violet and blue. Adding up to it to create some mountains at the horizon level. Now I'm adding up some darker values. Using a smaller brush, I put a boat here. Just with a few strokes. And let's add some birds. And that's it. After the paper is fully dry, here comes my favorite part. Let's remove the masking tape and see the finished product. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe to my channel for catching up with my upcoming works. Leave your comments and questions in the comments section and let me know what you like to see the most here in this channel. Wishing you all a wonderful time and see you around.